Having tried over 50 jury trials and 15 bench trials to verdict, you've amassed a wealth of experience in the courtroom. Can you highlight some of your most notable cases and the key takeaways from those experiences? Sure. Uh, I've got a couple that come to mind. Uh, one was uh, a case that involved a very serious injury, a CRPS, Complex Regional Pain Syndrome, which is a very serious uh, nerve uh, injury uh, that uh, uh, the plaintiff was uh, claiming in the case that uh, I tried. What happened in that case is uh, a couple of the witnesses uh, who took the stand uh, ended up uh, making certain claims, uh, providing certain testimony that I knew from my very thorough and detailed review uh, of the records and the, uh, and the documents in the case uh, could be contradicted. So what I realized is that the opposing attorney did not have the same level of uh, familiarity and mastery of the same evidence in the case as I did because that attorney allowed these witnesses to walk right into questions and answers that could then be contradicted by the, the records that were in evidence. So uh, they kind of made their own bed. They laid in it. Uh, they, uh, in essence, perjured themselves. And uh, when I got up for my cross-examination, the uh, impeachment is what we call it. Uh, the confronting them uh, with the contradictory uh, evidence uh, was very dramatic and made a huge impact on the jury. And I was able to win uh, the trial outright because of that. So the impression that made on me uh, was that it is ex extremely important to be prepared. If you are more prepared than your opponent, uh, you are going to find that throughout the trial, you gain an advantage because you know the evidence better than your opponent does. And if you know your, the evidence better than your opponent does, numerous opportunities are going to arise through the course of a days long trial that will accrue to your client's benefit. So that's one case that I really remembered. And uh, it made me realize, look, you have to know every shred of evidence that uh, is going to come in front of the jury. Another case that I had that was uh, involved a very, very serious injury, fractured to an ankle uh, with, uh, you know, unfortunately gruesome photos of, a, of the bone, you know, uh, sticking out of it, uh, was how important it is for juries to be able to identify with and relate to the plaintiff, uh, or for that matter, the defendant. Uh, there are so many factors that a successful experienced trial attorney has to take in consideration when coming up with trial strategy and even assessing the risks and the benefits of going to trial. And that is something that's hugely important. Uh, when we know through depositions and other evidence, maybe social media posts and that sort of thing, that a jury is really going to be able to uh, identify with a plaintiff uh, their, that their hearts will be touched by the, the plaintiff's story, uh, that means a lot. Because so much of what a jury decides uh, is subjective, and so much of a result uh, is more than a simple number on a medical bill or on a payroll record. Uh, the general damages, the pain and suffering, the impact on relationships, that sort of thing, uh, it can have huge variance. And if a plaintiff and his or her story resonates with the jury, then it can have a huge impact on the ultimate verdict.